In addition to the genetic uh, contributors, um, there's a number of possible environmental risk factors. Um, some of these occur in gestation. So um, if the mother is exposed to some toxins, let's say they abuse drugs, let's say they uh, get uh, the measles or some kind of uh, viral infection while the, she's, they're pregnant. Um, if they're undernourished because of some kind of starvation or uh, other type of um, uh, you know, crisis that's you know, the, in the environment. Um, if there's a traumatic delivery at birth, hypoxia, uh, brain trauma that occurs during a, a delivery. Uh, and then early in life, if there's some type of uh, severe deprivation that occurs to the infant, um, these are contributors. There's also a broader range of, of environmental contributors that have been determined uh, to be, to increase risk for developing schizophrenia in vulnerable people. Um, one is urban living. Another is being an immigrant to a new culture where you're not easily or readily assimilated, but you're maintained as sort of a separate um, recreational drug abuse or drug use. Um, so if you have genetic vulnerability of the illness and you happen to experiment with uh, cocaine or methamphetamine or smoke pot, um, these are risk factors also.